Hey there, welcome back to the Barnabas Robot Arm. So in this video, I want to work on uh, assembling the claw that's going to go right here on the robot arm. The claw is going to be the thing that open and, and closes. Okay, so I'm going to move this out of the way and uh, let's go ahead and get started. This one can be a little bit uh, tricky, so I wanted to make sure that we go ahead and did this on video here. All right, so the first part, let's go ahead and grab a motor. I'm going to get one of these guys out. All right, you're going to need these uh, screws and stuff later, so I'll put this on the side here. All right, then we're going to need four pieces to hold this motor in place, all right? So if you have this piece right here, okay, then we also have this other piece. It's a little bit longer than this one, but it holds a motor there, all right? And then we have two of these guys. One that looks like this, and one that looks like this. Four pieces, all right? And then you're gonna need four M3 by 10 screws, the 10 millimeter ones. All right, let's go ahead and see if we can do this, all right? All right, so what we wanna do is take our motor here, okay, and it's gonna go into this thing right here all right so we have this and we're going to want to turn it this way like so and then we're going to put our motor through all right so that's that's looking good uh now the next thing is we need to put one of these all right uh this one here okay it looks like a barcode scanner at like a grocery store you know all right then you take this and put it sorry as this is on here we're gonna put take this and turn it this way go like that cool kind of like hold it in place there I'm gonna get the other one and it's the same on both sides so it doesn't really matter which way you put it here but we're gonna put it in this slot here Cool, it slides in there, okay? See that? All right, make sure you can see it at, at all angles here. Put this back in. Oh, it slid out and let me do this again. All right, here we go. That one and then this one here cool all right now once that's in we can take this part and let's feed it through the wire here all right and this little notch right here it always goes goes where the cable is okay so it's not going to be that way it's going to be this way because the notch is with the cable and then this should just slide on in. Let's get it in there. There we go. Success, okay? So then it should like sandwich in. You see that part? A little piece of wood is sandwiched in there, and then so is that. Okay, and now that we've done that, the next thing we need to do is uh, screw it in. So it's fastened in there, all right? So let's get our 10 millimeter uh, screws here and screw in. So there's one there. X wrench. There we go. There we go. All right. And again, if you need some extra support, you can always put a nut there as well, okay? But my wood here seems to be catching pretty well, so I'm not going to add an extra nut there. Let me tighten. Cool. There's two. There's a third one. All right, we are 
doing well here in the fourth one. So this is just about done here. And, that's, and just a thing here, you want to make sure this is straight. So the top part straight, the bottom part straight. Um, you don't want to over tighten. If you start seeing it arched right here, it's over tightened. You want to loosen it. Okay, just let me show it like this so you can see it from all angles. Okay. All right. There we go. Another thing to notice is that this uh, white shaft here is more toward the center, not to the side there. Okay, because be, there's two ways to put the motor in. All right. Another way to think of it is the motor wire should be toward the center. All right. So that's the first assembly here. Um, I'm going to tighten here a little bit more. Okay, feeling good. Snug, but not too tight. Cool. So that's the first assembly. Now the next part was we needed to make the, I call it the left claw or the left pincher. Okay. Uh, so what do we need here? We need three wood pieces. Put this here for now. So we need this uh, claw. Uh, so this claw has two holes on it. All right. There's another claw, this one right here that only has one hole. We're going to use this later. So make sure you get the one with the two holes. All right. And then we have a little spacer here or a washer. And then we have a gear here. All right. Uh, now there's a, there are a couple gears. Find the one with the two large holes here. Okay. Uh, and you should be good. All right. So we've got that. Now uh, the other thing we need is a 10 millimeter screw. So here's our 10 millimeter m3 screw and then we have to put them together okay now this this can go in a couple different ways uh so if you're not careful you're going to probably do it the wrong way all right so let's see here so we got we have this piece here this is our our gear uh let's hold that here in place and then we're going to have our our uh, washer here and that's going to go and match up with this hole so let me show you from both sides okay all right and now what I like to do is go ahead and take our um, 10 millimeter screw here and let's go ahead and stick them through so it goes through that hole and then as it's through let's go ahead and put the washer through cool not so bad right okay now we have our claw, okay? Now, or what do we call this? The pincher, all right? So the pincher has two holes here, okay? So if you put it through this one, that's not correct, okay? What you want to do is put it through the one that's offset, the hole here, all right? So once you do that, though, see, it's not... It doesn't slide through and it's not supposed to slide through because you're supposed to screw it in there okay so you put it through that off center one or match it to that off center hole on that pincher and then we can tighten this and then when you do this you don't want it super tight because if it's super tight where these motors are strong but not so strong it can uh, your motors won't be able to move it so you want it so that you can move it with your finger easily um let's see i can probably go a little bit oh see now see one finger it's like kind of hard so i like that that's good see when i stop moving with my finger it stays where it needs to be but it's super easy to move with my finger that's the test all right cool so this is good my uh left pincher here is is done so let's go ahead and do the right pincher all right so you're gonna need this okay now and i said the right pincher but even before we do the right pincher we need to connect this to our first thing that we made our first assembly here so in order to do that we need one of these there's only one of these okay little piece that looks like like that 
And then you're going to need a 12 millimeter M3 screw. Those are the longest screws in there. All right. That's this one right here. Okay. So here we go. We have our, our um, first assembly. Let's take it and, and it should look like this. All right. Then this assembly is going to go here. And we have to line up the holes. All right. So you see this, this gear here? This gear, I'll bring it up to the camera. This hole here needs to line up with this hole down there. Okay. You turn it, there we go, lined up. You can see that in the camera, right? So that way a screw can go um, um, through there. All right. Uh, now, this thing, what's up with this thing? All right. The way that this works is um, this is going to line up like this. Okay. So you have the small little notch down here and then the other side over here, but it lines up with uh, the holes. These, this hole, this hole lines up with this hole and this hole. But this is not flush on this piece of wood. Actually, this is tricky. And that's why I'm doing this on the video here. It needs to sandwich in between. Let me make sure you have the camera view in between these two pieces here. Okay, so we're going to slide it in there, sliding it in. Okay, and then we've got to make sure that the holes line up. Okay, so this hole right here is going to line up with these two holes here, sandwiched in there. There we go and there we go okay so now now you should have a screw that's supposed to go through there that goes through this top gear through this middle piece through the bottom gear and through that okay and we're going to go in uh all the way from the back side of this so we, we have it there then we're going to put the screw in through the back side and it should go through all of that stuff you might need to wiggle it. There we go. Cool. So it's all lined up now. All right. And at this point, what you can do is tighten it. go same as before it's like you want it turning but not too too much and I can see this is this is super hard to turn right now so we're a little bit too tight probably we'll loosen that it's good but also yeah that's pretty good all right so again you want it on there, but really easy to turn. There you go, a little bit less. All right, I like that. All right, let me show you in all views. So here's the top view. Here is the side view. Sorry, the lighting is not great, but I want you to be able to see the four layers in there. Okay, here's the bottom view here. And here's another side view, okay? All right. There we go. Okay, and then this side here, you see these two holes, uh, the hole right here and this hole right here, those line up, uh, but we have to install uh, the other pincher. All right. So at this point, let's go ahead and grab the right pincher, this one right here, and also a 10 millimeter screw here. So this pincher, it's going to go, you see this, there's a gap right here, right? See that gap? 
that's where this is going to slide in and have the holes match up and you you can feel it the gears should match up too okay so that so that it can open and close like that so you line it up get the gears the teeth matched up and then at this point uh, you're able to then uh, screw it in all right so let's make sure we do that there we go we're, we're gonna go down from the bottom side here okay now we're screwing in now here's another thing to be careful it's gonna go through and see if I screw it in all the way there's two bad things that can happen okay so I screwed it in all the way you see it's sticking out right here with my I'm pointing it with my finger if I screw it in all the way it's really hard to turn I can't even move this so it's the servo motor is going to have no chance moving it so that's not good uh, the other thing is uh, this gear right here can actually get stuck when it hits by hitting this screw right here so you need to back it out so that it does not protrude through see I'm backing it out and it's now okay now it's loose it can open and this gear right here can pass through this these teeth right here can pass through this and not not hit that okay cool all right we are getting there so now we have to build the drive the drive train which is um well i guess kind of like a drive train but so there you're going to put another gear here that's going to then drive this gear that will then open and close the claw all right so let's go ahead and do that <laughs> 